We had a great Saturday in the American Association, and it's time to whip it around for you on this Sunday. I'm Carter Woodiel. Let's get to it. We begin with an absolute thriller in Fargo. What a night from Reimer Liriano, a two-run homer here in the fifth to tie things up at seven. He would not be done in this game. Moving to the sixth, still tied. Well, not anymore. Jimmy Carrigan, three-run homer, his second of a game, 10-7 Cougars. Then, though, Liriano again, bases loaded and a bases clearing double to right field. John Silviano gets in under the tag to score of a go-ahead run. It's 11 to 10. Red Hawks, and then the icing on the cake. We move ahead to the ninth. Alexis Pantoja hits one out to left. Liriano makes the catch, comes up throwing, and gets the tying run out of the plate. The Red Hawks win 11 to 10. Chicago and Lake Country, another win for the Dogs last night, and Grant K had himself a game. Two home runs. This one a solo shot to put the Dogs up 2 nothing. and then later on in the ninth, he'd strike again with another solo home run. He's got nine homers on the year, and the Dogs all over Lake Country, 11 to 3. Kansas City taking on Sioux Falls from the birdcage. Check out the play from Kona Quiggle charging in from center field for the Canaries and making the layout catch, but the Monarchs will be victorious in this game. They had three home runs in the first inning, including back-to-back jacks. This is Jan Hernandez with his 16th homer of the season, leading the American Association, and then Casey Gillespie gets in on the fun, a sixth home run of the year for him. Solo shot, 8 nothing Monarchs at one point in this game. They win the ball game 8-3. Winnipeg and Lincoln played two yesterday, and the Gold Eyes pitching staff was on point. A shutout in Game 1, Luis Ramirez threw five and a third score of his frame, struck out six. They went at 3 nothing. And in Game 2, Alex Manassa threw all seven innings, allowing just one run and striking out four of a Gold Eyes. Sweep the doubleheader on the road in Lincoln, 8-1 the final score in Game 2. And Cleburne beat Sioux City last night. Zach Narrier came through again for the Railroaders, the all-star starter with a solo home run here, third blast of the year in his 23rd RBI. Cleburne goes on to win it. 6-4 to four from the depots. Here are the full scores from yesterday. Gary Southshore beat Milwaukee on the road 6-2. to two. In the East Division standings, the Dogs' lead is now four games with Milkman and King County both taking losses yesterday. And in the West, Fargo, Moorhead, and Kansas City both win. So they're still a game and a half apart. They've been that way for quite some time. Today in the American Association, afternoon baseball through most of our league, King County and Fargo, Moorhead, what do they have for an encore first pitch at 1 o'clock? And make sure not to miss any of that action, not just today, but all season long at AA Baseball. TV. I'm Carter Wadil for the American Association, where we play to win.